Here comes another wave of privacy worries. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Big Brother could soon be reading your emails if a bill in the U.S. Senate is passed next week. There's proposed legislation that would allow law enforcement to access email and social media accounts without a search warrant. Government agencies could access Facebook posts, Twitter direct messages, and files in Google Docs with only a subpoena. A warrant needs to be signed by a judge to show probable cause. And the FBI and Homeland Security could get full access to Internet accounts without notifying either the owner or a judge. This bill is scheduled to be voted on next week. Facebook is taking a page from Google Plus and testing out photo syncing for some users on Apple devices. Photo syncing could be a huge privacy worry for many. It automatically uploads all the images on your phone or tablet, saves them to Facebook on a private folder in your profile, and you can later choose which photos, if any, you want to share publicly. It's supposed to make it easier for you to post more photos on Facebook, and Google Plus has a similar feature. Right now it's being tested on iOS apps, but there were reports it was tested on Android phones back in September. It's not something Facebook is hiding. There's a blog page posted with facts on how it works. And going back to Google+, Plus, it's now allowing you to link your YouTube account with anonymous nicknames. Back in July, the only way you could link your YouTube and Google account was to change your YouTube handle to your real name. But that's not the case anymore. You can even rename your Google+, Plus page into your YouTube channel identity because not everyone wants their full name on their YouTube channel. There could be a problem with the latest Apple TV software update. First reported by Apple Insider, some users are saying their Apple TVs are dead after installing the update and the box just has a blinking light with a black screen. Other users say the streaming box can no longer connect to the internet. If that happens to you, see if Apple's customer service will replace it for you with a new one. For the first time, you can buy a Skype gift card. Skype is free when you want to chat between two users logged in online, but it costs money when you want to call a mobile phone or a home phone or send a text message. You'll find these cards in stores or you can buy them online. If you're still having woes over Apple's new maps, here comes Nokia's app called Here Maps. It's a free app powered by Navtech, and users can view maps, get real-time traffic data, a satellite view. You can save map areas for later viewing. There's also the handy step-by-step voice-guided navigation, as well as the ability to share a map with someone else. The app is designed for iPhone and iPad, but Android users could see this in the coming months. That's your tech news update. You can find links to all of these stories on the blog, cnet.com update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.